hey guys it's your girl leah here back again with another video for you guys so as you guys can see by the title you already know what i'm about to be doing honey yes in today's video i'm going to be doing a thumbnail tutorial since i saw that you guys love the other one so i decided to do an updated video with this new thumbnail that i got right in front of here i know you guys will love this one so yeah we're just gonna hop right into the tutorial okay so the model that i'm using is jayla deshay on instagram is the shade of doll yes her instagram is the shade of doll so you guys will go and follow her on instagram and also on tiktok okay and she also has a youtube channel as well so you guys will go and follow her on her youtube channel which i think is jayla the shade so yeah let's hop right into this tutorial we're going to be doing this beautiful thumbnail of her right here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on to safari directly and we're gonna search for pink salon background images and then they'll have like different types of salon backgrounds you guys don't have to put background you guys could just put pink salon to find to have more choices so i'm gonna erase background search and it should have like pretty ones you guys could even go on pinterest and find them so i was scrolling through i saw this one that really catch my eye and then there was like a couple more that i chose from but the one that i found was this one right here so this is the one that i'll be using which is just like a cute little pink chair and then you have like a little seat for the guests and stuff i really like this so this is the background that i'm going for and also we'll go on to pix art click on the plus sign and then we're going to scroll until we find color and we're gonna click on the darkest pink which is this one we're going to click on tool crop and we're gonna click on 16 by 9 apply and then you're gonna click on the arrow above to save it great once that's done we're going to actually save like two pictures of her which was these two beautiful pictures right here so it looks like she just came from doing her makeup her hair you know this picture just looks cute so that's why i decided to use this picture right here and i also named it everyday makeup routine so it was given a vibe you know so that's what i did and how i cut out the pictures like this i actually used the app called pixel cut i used pixel cut i clicked on remove background i clicked on the picture that i wanted i slide it to the right and then it'll erase the background directly for you click on the check mark once that is done you click on the picture click on the check mark again check mark and then click back on the picture and then you'll click on shadow you're just going to turn up the opacity to like 50 great then you're going to click on share save the camera roll you're going to click back on the picture replace it and you're going to replace it which is this one slide and the background is removed and they will do the exact same thing that you did for the first picture which was the shadow that i added behind so all i have to do is click on share save the camera roll and it's saved so this is a paid app so i'm going to show you guys the free version of how you could erase the background you're going to go onto safari and you're going to search for remove background remove background and then you're going to upload the image choose upload the image photo library and then you're going to click on the picture that you would like to use the background from choose and it's going to erase the background same thing okay you're going to click on download download it's going to go at the bottom here click on downloads and there it is you're going to click on the arrow save image and it'll save directly to your camera roll so here it is once it's saved to add the shadow you could go on pix art we're going to come out of this don't save you're going to okay you're going to click on a transparent background first then you're going to add the picture add once it's added then you're going to click on shadow and there you're going to turn up the opacity and you could adjust the position to how you want it to be great and turn up the opacity to how dark you would like it to be so i put it to 60 i'm going to save it and let's see how it looks okay so it's basically like giving the same effect as how i did mine okay so once that is done we're going to go back onto pix art and here is where we're going to do everything basically except for the text this card so the first thing we're going to add is we're going to click on see all and we're going to add the pink background once the pink background is added we're going to add photo and we're going to add the pink salon background over it so you're gonna go and look for it so i'm gonna add it i'm gonna open it up to how i want it to be so i'm gonna put it like this then i'm going to click on blend multiply color burn darken i think i'm gonna leave it at let me make sure i can't remember which one i clicked on i think i left it on overlay 
soft light let's see we're gonna leave it on overlay apply and then now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll until we find lens flare we're just going to turn down the opacity yeah we're gonna turn it down to like 50 we're gonna leave it at 50 applying and then we're going to scroll until we find a lens flare scroll until you find this bright light okay it's this one great and then you're going to open it up bring it down to where you want it to be so i'm going to place this one here like this i'm going to apply it and then i'm going to add another one so as you guys can see normally the pillows in the other picture was actually bright in okay let's see we're gonna add another lens flare and we're gonna scroll until we find this shiny light right here again we're going to move it to here open it up a bit great then you're gonna apply it and we're gonna leave it like this and now what we're going to do is we're going to add photo and we're gonna add the pictures that we cropped out so i'm going to add this one first and i'm gonna open it up to like this the main reason i put the light behind because i wanted to like show like like a halo behind i don't know like i wanted to like show that the brightness behind the picture if you guys understand what i'm saying so i wanted it to be like that so i'm gonna put this one here and then i'm gonna add photo and i'm gonna add the other one which is this one and we're gonna place this one like right here like this great once that is done do not click on apply we're going to click on sticker and i recently added this heart sticker this pink heart but as you guys can see it has like a little crown next to it which means this sticker is paid for but you guys could search up for pink heart and it'll give you different types of heart or you guys search up pink heart emoji and there's different types of pink heart that you guys could use so there's this one here and if you guys would like the white outline like how the other paid one has you guys could just click on border and it'll add the border you just turn down the border a little bit like this yeah that's how you guys could add that heart but i'm gonna use the regular heart that i was using before which is this one and then i'm going to tilt it bring it down then i'm going to place this one right here i'm going to click on the two little folders that's just above each other that icon right above next to the eraser icon you're going to click on that then you're going to click on move down move down again until it moves behind the picture once that is done you're going to click on sticker again and you're going to add another one make it as small as you want or big as you want i'm going to tilt it and place this one right here then i'm going to move it down great and then i'm going to add one more click on sticker and we're going to add the last one tilt it a bit make it small and we're going to place this one right here like this we're going to move it down great so once they're behind the pictures of the girl i'm going to fix her a little bit like here great so once that is done what we're going to do now is we're just going to apply it because i don't think we have to send anything else behind so we're going to apply it apply great so it looks like this for now once we have that we're just gonna leave it just how it is we're gonna come out of here and we're gonna go directly onto fonto so we're gonna click on fonto camera icon plain image click on the white background color then you're gonna turn down the alpha because you want the transparent background use and we're gonna add text which will be every day we're gonna put the text separ separately every day and the font that i'm using is called burp bank big condensed bowl so i will be putting the link down below in the description box so that you guys could go and download that font directly to fonto so guys it was really hard to find the font so what i'm going to do is i'm going to download the font we'll try to search for it and then i'm going to put a link down below in the description where to get it once the font is downloaded once you get it on your phone in your file then from there you guys are going to hold down the font in your files you're going to go into files search for the font hold down the font once you've hold it down it's going to pop up like a, a couple of texts you're going to click on share once you click on share you're going to share it directly to fonto and once it's on fonto you're going to click on install and it's going to install directly onto fonto in my fonts as you guys see at the bottom here it says my fonts and fonts fonts is the regular fonts that came with fonto and my fonts is the one that you personally downloaded so yeah we're gonna do it that way because it's taking up a lot of time to find the font right now it's been a while since i downloaded this font okay great so that's the font that i'll be using then i'm going to move it up here style create color pattern and i'm going to start with a dark pink a little lighter pink a dark pink and then a lighter pink at the end again character you're going to click on gradient that's going that's going to the right no not to the right that's going downwards great so it should look like this 
apply stroke and you're going to add the white cover over it and then you're going to click on style and you're going to add the white background again and you're just going to fix it to how you would like it so i'm going to put it like this or you guys can bring it up like this but i'm going to leave it like this done and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on it and i'm going to click on duplicate right here this um duplicate button right here that's just at the bottom of 3d you're gonna click on that icon and it's gonna duplicate it you're gonna click on it and you're gonna change the text to everyday makeup in capital letters makeup done and you're gonna place it just on top a little bit on top of the first text then you're gonna duplicate that one again and then you're gonna change the text to routine and you're gonna place that one just above it again like this in the middle great so once that is done now you're going to save this save image as png please do not save it in do not click on save image you're going to click on save image in png once that is done you're going to come out of here and we're going to go back onto pixart great where we left off and you're going to add photo you're going to add the text tilt it a bit open it up and we're going to put it here open it up a bit more like this great so once that is done you're gonna click on sticker and you're gonna search for okay you're just gonna write ddg because i think that's where you find all of the camera recording um frame so i'm gonna click on this one right here nope it's not this one sticker okay it's this one so you guys are gonna go to the sec just above just beneath the arrow in the right corner that one is the one that i chose it's gonna look like this to me this one looks more cleaner than the others that's why i chose this one great and it should be like this you're gonna click on apply and it's done but then we have one more step which we're going to scroll until we find effects and you're gonna click on fx at the bottom here and you're gonna click on agr1 to get the brightness so yeah guys it's gonna look like this this is the original which looks a little bit more pinker well that's because of the background i probably i don't know what i did but it does look the same so yeah this is the one that i just made and then you're gonna click on apply and there you have your thumbnail honey so yeah this is the one that i made now and this is the previous one i really like this one this one is cute so yeah guys hopefully this video helped you guys on making your own thumbnail and however you want it to look and yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave some suggestions down below in the description box so that I could get some suggestions to choose from in order for me to make another beautiful video for you guys. Okay, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye.